Excuse me. My name is Richard Stewart. I'm a photographer. May I take a picture of you and your little boy? What's it for? That's for a book. You're writing a book? <laughs> It's a book of pictures. I call it Family Album USA. Oh, that's a nice idea. Well, it's fine if you take our picture. I'm Martha Van. Thank you. I appreciate your help. I'm Richard. What's your name? Gerald. How old are you, Gerald? Five. And where do you live? We live in California. Well, welcome to New York. Okay, just a second. I'm almost ready here. Can I help you? Oh, please. Hey, hold Gerald's hand, please. Great. Now point to the buildings. Terrific. Now give mommy a kiss, Gerald. Nice. Thank you, Gerald. And thank you, Mrs. Van. Oh, my pleasure. We'll be looking for your book. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye, Gerald. Thanks again. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, let me take your picture. Wonderful, please. Are you from New York? No, I'm from Greece. I'm an exchange student. Well, when did you come here? Three months ago. Your English is very good. Thanks. I studied English in school. Would you like some coffee? No, thank you. Tell me about your book. Oh, it's not finished yet, but I have some of the pictures. Would you like to see them? Yes, I'd like that. Oh, here they are. Family Album USA. It's an album of pictures of the United States, the cities, the special places, and the people. And these are pictures of people working. Steel workers, bankers, police, street vendors, ambulance drivers, doctors. Oh, and this is my father. He's a doctor. This is my mother. What's her name? Ellen. <laughs> my younger brother, Robbie, he goes to high school. This is my sister, Susan. She works for a toy company. <laughs> Here's my grandfather. He lives in Florida. And this is my wife, Marilyn. Oh, she's very pretty. Thanks. And what about your family? They are in Thessaloniki. Mm -hmm. That's a large city in northern Greece. But now I'm living in the Bronx. With a Greek-American family? No, Hispanic. <laughs> oh, no. It's 5.30. Um, will you excuse me? I have to meet my wife. It was nice meeting you. Oh, it was a pleasure meeting you, too. Thanks for your help, and good luck. <laughs> um, I've got to go. Uh, by the way, I'm Richard. What's your name? Alexandra. <laughs> Bye-bye, Alexandra. Thanks. Bye-bye. Richard! Richard, you left your bag! Excuse me, officer. Can, can you help me? Sure. Can you tell me how to get to Linden Street in Riverdale? Uh, Richard Stewart, 46 Linden Street, Riverdale, New York. You should take the number one subway. Is there a station near here? Yes, the station's that way. You should take the number one train to Van Cortlandt Park. Number one train to Van Cortlandt Park. Thank you. <laughs> Anytime. Good luck. Remember, the number one train, the uptown platform. Thank you. Is this pink too bright for me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> It is a very bright pink. Try this. It's size eight, but I wear size 10. How about green? It's size 10. Let me try it on. I I'm taking too much of your time. It's six o'clock. Where's my husband? I was expecting him here at 5.45. Don't worry, the traffic is very heavy at this hour. I know. We are going to be late for dinner. I'll take this green sweater. I like the color on me, don't you? I, I think it looks terrific on you. Sorry, I'm so late. I had a really bad day. It's 10 after 6. We're late. Uh, Robbie's cooking tonight, and dinner's at 6.30. I know. I know. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I left my bag of film on the ferry. I went back for it, but the ferry was gone. I lost a whole day's work. I'll call the Staten Island Ferry Lost and Found Office. I didn't think of that. Thanks. Hello? Yes, the number, please, of the Staten Island Ferry Lost and Found Office. 555-0808. Thank you. I really appreciate it, Marilyn. Hello? Did anyone find a camera bag this afternoon? A small canvas bag on the J.F. Kennedy Ferry. No, maybe someone will find it. The name is Stewart, Richard Stewart, and the telephone number is 555-3090. Thank you. Sorry, Richard, they don't have it. Thanks anyway. But oh, there was a girl on the ferry. Tell Now, maybe... me about it on the way home. And give her a teaspoon of the medicine after every meal. No, 
Don't worry, she'll be fine. You're welcome. Goodbye. Uh, how are you? I'm tired. I'm hungry. Well, mm. Marilyn and Richard call. They'll be here soon, and then we'll eat. Right. Is, uh, is Susan coming? Well, she'll be here later. She has to work late tonight. And what's Robbie cooking for dinner? <laughs> it's a surprise. I hope it's pasta. Robbie, the dinner was terrific. Yes, mm. it was delicious. Mm. Mm -hmm. What's for dessert? Oh, I forgot dessert. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry. We've got lots of ice cream. Oh, I'd love some ice cream. Well, there's um, chocolate and coffee and a little vanilla. I'll have vanilla. Is that all right with everyone? I'll have chocolate. Me too. Um, one scoop of coffee and one scoop of chocolate for me. Robbie, would you help me serve? I keep thinking about that bag of film. Eight rolls, a whole day's work. And good stuff, too. Don't worry, Richard. Someone will find it. I'll get it. Hello. Hello. Does Richard Stewart live here? Yes, he's my brother. I'm Robbie. Robbie Stewart? I'm Alexandra Papa. How do you do? Your brother left his bag of film on the ferry boat. I found it. And I'm really glad to see you. I, I mean, my brother will be really glad to see you. Bobby, who is it? It's Richard's film. I mean, Alexandra Pappas. Come in, please. Alexandra. Hello, Richard. I found your bag. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, Alexandra, let me introduce you. This is my wife, Marilyn. Richard showed me your photo. How do you do? Oh, yes, Richard told us all about you. It's nice to meet you. And this is my mother, Ellen Stewart. How do you do? And my father, Dr. Philip Stewart. Nice to meet you, Alexandra. And uh, you met Robbie. Yes. And you must be Susan. Hi. Hi. Welcome. I'm so glad you found the bag and took the time and trouble to return it. Oh, it was no trouble. I just took the wrong train. <laughs> Would you like something to eat? Thank you. No. I'm late for dinner at my house. I really have to go. Oh, would you like to call home? I'd appreciate that. Please, use the phone. Thanks. Excuse me. Alexandra is a high school exchange student from Greece. Where does she live? With a family in the Bronx. Oh, that's not too far from here. Uh, take it easy, Robbie. <laughs> Thank you. I can only stay a few minutes. Have some iced tea. Thanks, Mrs. Please sit down, Alexandra. So, you're an exchange student. Uh, where do you go to school? At the Bronx High School of Science. Oh, that's a very good school. What are your favorite subjects? Biology and mathematics. Richard tells me you're a doctor. Yes, a pediatrician. And what does your father do? He's a lawyer in Thessaloniki. Mm. Would you like some pasta? I made it myself. It might be a little cold. No, I do have to go. It was nice meeting you all. Well, maybe you'll come for lunch some Sunday so we can really thank you for bringing Richard's bag back. Maybe. <laughs> You're welcome. Anytime. Goodbye. Can I drive you home? No, thanks. The train is just up the street. It won't take me long at all. So you really saved the day for me, Alexandra. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night. She's a smart young lady. And very nice. Very. Hey, she forgot her bag. Oh, I guess we'll be seeing Alexandra again. Right, Bobby?